G'day gang, Game One Gear Den here. How you going? We're back in the Elder Scrolls Online in the elsewhere. Cadwell's eating a chicken drumstick or something. There's a lot of people here. But, Lord Garashri, you got something to say? Gamera's parents would be proud of how she has stepped forward in these dark times. Moons, I am proud of her. While Kamira gathers her thoughts, the rest of us have work to do. Tell me, what happened in the palace? We killed Euraxia, but Nalado died. And the dragons and necromancers are still working together. You bring news both welcome and grim. But we can neither celebrate a victory nor mourn the good captain until later, I fear. We need to determine why the dragons are willing to associate with wielders of dark magic. I heard them mention a moon gate to the southwest. Kalgrontid seems interested in this place. Could they be interested in the moon gate of Anequina? It lies in that direction. I wonder if this pertains to Euraxia's final order. A soldier mentioned it after we captured her, but she refused to elaborate. Maybe you can help Tharn find out more. I'll help Abner Tharn determine the significance of Euraxia's final order. Even now, Abner Tharn searches through the documents in the royal study, seeking information concerning this final order. Despite his show of indifference, Euraxia was his half-sister. Her death is bound to affect him. I suggest that you tread warily. You're worried about Abner Tharn? Worried? No. That would imply I had any feelings toward the man whatsoever. I'd say I'm more concerned that his nonchalant attitude toward his sister's death might be hiding his true emotions. I trust that he's here to help, but he's still a Tharn. Okay. Which way? This way? Oh, there's a lot of books to read here. Surely one of these is going to give us something. Some sort of skill up. Come on. <laughs> there's too many books here for that not to happen. Kunzari and the Demon. An ancient Kajati myth is recorded by Moonsinger Azargo Longtail. In the time before time, when the 16 kingdoms were barely more than 16 tribes, the great hero Kunzari went on many adventures. After Kunzari defeated the giant Droll by consuming 401 moon sugar pies, he met a demon. The demon said, My brothers and I shall take this land and its treasures, even the moons from the sky. Kunzari objected. But the demon laughs, you cannot stop us, little cat thing. Kunzari said, not by myself, thou demon. I shall gather a Krajun, a company of heroes, starting with the Ultima, Nurarion, the per perfect, who communes among the buried roots of the Elliot worms. These are the words, and the words are true. 401 moon sugar pies, eh? Little bit of, little bit of skooma in there too. When the Sixteen Kingdoms were young like kittens at play, the great hero Kunzari gathered a company of champions to combat the demon and his brothers. They had come to elsewhere to steal the moon from the sky. When Nurarion already decided, Kunzari turned his attention to the next champion he planned to recruit. The power of the moons will be ours, little cat thing. Taunted the demon, how can you possibly hope to stop many? Kunzari said, because two shall become one, become three, annoying demon. As soon as this one rescues Flinthild, demon hunter from the earlier lair of creeping ebony plants. These are the words and the words are true. So I must have read this one already. With wild abandon, the hero Kuzari gathered champions to deal with a terrible demon and his horde. With Nurarion the per perfect and Flinthild demon hunter, he sought a third companion. Demon said, oh little cat thing, you amuse us. How can these three tiny mortals ever stand against us? Kunzari laughed. We may be tiny, but we are persistent and tricky too, as you will see. Then Kunzari turned to his Krajun. One more we need. Gajiti, queen of renown. 
an equinox sharp tongue who loves to bask in the glow of the big moon when she reflects and thinks deep thoughts. These are the words, and the words are true. Come on, there's so many books here. One of these, surely, has got to teach us a little something about something. Okay, fine. Fine. Necromancer's report for the Queen. Your Royal Majesty, aligning myself with you has proven fruitful both for both of us. You get an unyielding army of undead at your disposal, while I get an unlimited supply of bodies with which to practice my craft. If only some other visionary ruler had thought to employ my services sooner, think how far the dark arts could have progressed. With corpses aplenty and Euraxian mercenaries to our command, we have assembled a number of cadaver forges. Forges? Where we can raise and store the undead. Unfortunately, even sites such as the Sky and the Necropolis cannot contain all the bodies we need to create the massive army you imagine. We need more prisoners to feed into our forges. My followers eagerly await the next shipment and are ready to process, process them immediately. Also, I happily report that the search for the betrayer's body part continues apace. We should have all of the components necessary to reconstruct the betrayer very soon. I reiterate that the betrayer is the key to maintaining and securing the continued support of the dragons. One more thing, have you issued the order to yet to take care of that problem? I discovered hiding in the wilderness. Mulamnia and his brethren will be much more cooperative, I assure you. Once your assassination squad deals with such a minor, though annoying threat, Zumog Fume, Lord of the Dark Hearts. All right, Abnathar, I'm ready to talk. When you look at the world as lines on a map, it all seems so small and insignificant. I was trying to determine the meaning of this document, but so far the secret eludes me. I came to offer my help. Did you find out anything about Euraxia's final order? I found a letter, but it's not complete. Looks like a scribe's dictation. I've been searching for more, but I haven't made much progress through the royal stacks. With your help, perhaps the search will go more quickly. Tell me about the dictated letter you found. It alludes to an order Euraxia was preparing to deliver shortly before our assault on the palace. It mentions a Captain S, the Cygnus Irregulars, and a favor for the dragons, but gives no indication as to who they are or what the favor might be. About your half-sister? We did what had to be done. Think no more about it. If you hadn't ended Euraxia, I certainly would have. Now, look around and see if you can find anything pertaining to this unfinished letter. I'm sure it refers to Euraxia's final order. I'll see what I can find. This study contains documents from when the Khajiit ruled Rimen, as well as papers that cover the span of Euraxia's rule. So many, many papers. She was a prolific writer, I'll give her that. At least she didn't destroy her files before she died. What should I be looking for again? Anything pertaining to this so-called final order. While we're looking around, let's see if we can find anything that mentions the dragons, the necromancers, or anything significant. Who knows? We might uncover something unexpectedly helpful. All right. It's, it's, it's actually right here, mate. <laughs> it's right behind you. A couple more bookshelves. I'll just quickly look at these. Ah, oh, actually, there's a few of them over here, isn't there? Captain Sorlinia. That must be Captain S. And the Cygnus Irregulars are Imperial troops under the command of Prefect Kalo at Sandswirl Manor. Press D on that a little bit too quick. To Her Exalted Majesty, Queen Euraxia. This report summarizes my conclusions concerning the dragons that have made their presence known throughout northern elsewhere. The dragon that calls itself Mulamnir refers to an even more powerful creature known as Kal Grontid. He has provided dragons to support our efforts against the Kajiti rebels. These massive beasts have been instrumental in many of our victories, just as you predicted. If only we could convince Mulamnir to lend us more than a single creature at a time. We could retake control of the entire region. Unfortunately, the dragons seem incapable or unwilling to discern a difference between our troops and the enemy. 
They take no care to avoid friendly casualties and seem to revel in destruction, no matter the target. I fear our control of the creatures is haphazard at best. My recommendations follows. Order Mulan near to instruct the dragons to obey the chain of command. Weapons work best when we can maintain con complete control over their actions. Also, we must perform a service for the dragons to seal our alliance. I suggest we send an assassination squad to eliminate the last dragon guard believed to be hiding in the elsewhere wilderness. Centurion Yagus, royal strategist to the queen. Control dragons? What folly. But what was that about killing the last dragon guard? Tajati myths and legends continue to intrigue me. After all, it was the stories of Kunzari as told by the Moonsingers that led me to the Wrathstone and allowed me to trick my blundering half-brother into releasing the dragons from the halls of Colossus. I wonder what else might be waiting for me in the remaining tales of Kunzari. Certainly the significance of the betrayer whose disgusting head follows my chief necromancer around like a sad little puppy. He came to us from those legends. And the need for the moon gate, though I must admit, at least here in my private notes, that a complete understanding of the metaphysics behind it all still eludes me. Meanwhile, I understand that our investigation into the rumors of a last surviving member of the Dragon Guard here and elsewhere can have finally come to fruition. We can eliminate this potential threat and show Cal Grontid the true value of our partnership. I look forward to studying perfect Prefect Carlo's report in greater depth. If the infernal man ever agrees to send it to me. Old Khajiiti legends and rumors of a last dragon guard. Intriguing. I think you found everything I need to fill in the blanks. Let's talk. The documents you uncovered allow me to make sense of this unfinished dictation. I believe I now know the contents of Euraxia's final order. So what was Euraxia's final order? Euraxia ordered Captain Solinia to assassinate a dragon guard in an effort to appease the dragons. Solinia plans to commandeer as many additional soldiers as necessary from Prefect Kalo at Sanswell Manor and retrieve a report. Dragon guard? I don't understand. Neither do I, at least not fully. The dragon guard were the sworn protectors of the Imperial Emperor. At least they were until they fell out of favor. Euraxia has ordered her assassins to murder what she claims to be the last Dragon Guard. The last Dragon Guard? Don't ask me. The Dragon Guard I knew failed to protect the potentates and were disbanded in disgrace. They claim to have descended from legendary Akaviri Dragon Hunters. But that's all it was. A legend. We need to get to Sanswell Manor. I'll head to Sanswell Manor and find Prefect Kahlo as soon as I can. We can't take any chances. Euraxia's final order directs her assassins to murder the last Dragon Guard. If the dragons consider this threat real, we need it on our side. Meet me west of the city on the outskirts of Sanswell Manor. Do you know anything about Captain Solinia or Prefect Kahlo? Kahlo is mentioned in Garesh Ree's intelligence reports. He commands a garrison of troops in an estate seized when they conquered the region. As for Solinia, I've never heard of her. But an assassination squad, they're never a good thing. Are the people of Rimen cowards? They're just afraid, Kamira. Remember, the dragon's still dark in the skies overhead. But we need to replenish our forces. I fear there are more battles ahead. You carry the weight of the kingdom, Kamira, but the crown is not yet yours. Yes, yes. I must be recognized by the main and Queen Eren, which reminds me. Has the Dominion sent us any aid? A few advisors, some gold, but no troops. We are on our own. Give me good news, Five Claw. I could use some right about now. Euraxia's final order. She sent an assassination squad to kill the last dragon guard. Dragon guard? Hrrm. I leave this investigation to you and Tarn. Garesh Ri and I need to figure out how to bolster our defenses and prepare our forces. 
He even wants to send troops to defend the moon gate of Anequina. I heard you talking. The Aldmeri Dominion really isn't sending any troops? Unfortunately, we are only a small part of Queen Eren's domain. She sent us advisors and gold to purchase weapons and mercenaries, but her troops are committed to the Alliance War. I will convince my people to join the militia. I have to. I wonder if we can convince a certain... certain Raz. <laughs> Cadwell, mate, what are you doing? <laughs> All this stuff is going on. Here you are juggling. I found a set of round orb-like objects sitting on a forgotten shelf here in the palace. They're the perfect shape for juggling. Turns out I'm good at juggling. Who knew? And I find it strangely soothing after all that mayhem and fisticuffs. I, 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 I don't know. I don't even know what to say. Don't even know what to say, Cads. Oh, you got a pot on your head after all. What can I do? <laughs> what more is there to say? Rendezvous at Sansuel Manor, which is exactly... Which is where? Over here. We'll take a ride over there and we'll see if there's any, any quests along the way. Something over here, but I'll wait till I get out. Like I said before, I'm not looking to rush through this. I expect this series will run for about 50 parts, just like Somerset did. And in that series, I didn't rush through it either. I'm trying to do the main quest, but also do some side quests along the way. Sanchamount! And trying to remember to uh, do my riding training. All right, so that's taking us out over here. Now I'm not gonna. I probably won't do every side quest, but I'm gonna try and do any that are kind of along the path to our main quest. Delves too. If I see a delve, well, we're delving. <laughs> How far is that location? Might just go and ex explore this area. The Rimen Masterworks. Masterworks discovered. Heading back. Oh, here we go. Can't really miss it, can ya? Supposed to meet somebody above. And the farm waits. An imperial garrison housed in a Khajiit estate. My half sister spared no expense, I see. That's all right, Abs. You, you just keep looking that way. Nothing's happening behind your back. Prefect Kalo commands a full complement of soldiers, mostly seasoned Imperials and not the Nibbanese mercenaries that make up Euraxia's main forces. It's probable that Sorlinia and her assassination squad is here as well, so I advise caution. You think we'll have to fight our way in? I prefer to avoid unnecessary bloodshed, of course, but these are enemy forces. We must do what we must to complete our mission. I'll work my way down from the upper levels of the house. You find your own entrance and we'll meet somewhere inside. 
All right, I'll meet you inside the manor house. Try not to alert the entire garrison to our presence, and keep an eye out for Captain Sorlinia or anything related to Euraxia's final order. We need to determine where the assassination squad plans to strike if we're going to save the Dragon Guard. Tell me more about the Dragon Guard. As I said, the Dragon Guard I knew were the Emperor's protectors. I suspect this has more to do with legends that speak of their role as dragon hunters of old. Ah, idle speculation isn't going to accomplish anything. If I were younger... Your age, is that what's bothering you? I feel the weight of my years, and it gets worse the longer this goes on. In my younger days, I would have already corralled the dragons and banished the necromancers to a forgotten plane of oblivion. Enough of this. I'll meet you inside. Abs doesn't like to talk. <laughs> he just wants to get on with it. He just wants to get it going. We just want to hear you speak, Abnathan, that's all. Hear that Abnathan voice. Alright, I've got to find a way. I mean, my way would be just to bust heads and <laughs> go through the front door. But perhaps we should do a little bit of sneaking. Oh, oh! Bit of the old trespass. Wonder if that guy's gonna move. Seems pretty comfortable hammering that one spot. I don't think so. By orders of Queen Euraxia, the garrison previously commanded by Prefect Carlo is now under my control. Due to his refusal to follow the orders handed down to me directly from Queen Euraxia, Prefect Carlo has been found guilty of treason and imprisoned for his insubordination. Effective immediately. That guy's coming right back. All singleness, irregulars are to support the efforts of the Euraxian troops under my command. Oh my goodness, how am I supposed to read all that? Alright. He's been imprisoned. I got it. Let's get out. Oh, there's a there's a tomb over there. There's a delve. One of Kalo's pet cats. Time to make me a fur coat. <laughs> oh, look at a sneak dragon knight sneaking around. Kalo's pet cats. Time to make me a fur coat. That guy's looking. Oh, lieutenant's looking the wrong way. That's good for us. Key used to gain access to the cellar under Prefect Gallo's garrison. I can't believe the captain didn't assign me to the assassination squad. What if I can jump up here? Can jump on this, Baz. Let's sneak around this guy. Oh, come on, we can. Yes, yes, yes. And then up here. Oh, parkour. Sneaky, sneaky. Ninja Nord is the best Nord. Oh, that dude's looking right at us. He's looking up. Up, up, up. Maybe we'll be alright. We'll blend into the background here. Still into the bushes. I have no idea where we're meant to go. Is it over there or on the outside? Oh, is somebody coming? Oh, maybe it's in there. Into the cellar. We might be able to do it if I... I kind of go now. 
<laughs> it's so dodgy. There's no way. There's no way. Oh, 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 oh. So close. So close. Come on, Eurexia Knight. Oh, it's only one. Okay. Nobody, nobody heard that, right? Nobody saw a thing. There is a book there that I, I'm going to risk to read. All right, we're in. Ninja Nord with the flaming sword. Let's talk. <laughs> oh, hey, Abs, how you going? 